Hi everyone, it's Miss Brenda. I miss you all so much and I can't wait to see you. Okay, so we're going to do another speech and language activity today. We're going to do a shared reading about our five senses. And then at the end, just like we normally do, we're going to do a review and I will not give you the answers until the very end. Okay, so I want you to try your best to come up with the answers. You can do it. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. All right, our five senses. Written by Elise Sweeney. So when it says written by, that means this is our author. So Elise Sweeney is the author. She wrote the story. Here we have our table of contents. This tells us where all the information is in the story. Okay. Introduction. How do we feel a warm bath or see our friends and hear a song? How do we smell a flower and taste an apple? Our brain uses our five senses to tell us things about the world. So here we see a little girl and her body parts are labeled here. So she has her eyes. These are for seeing. She has her ears. These are for hearing. Her hands are for touching. Her nose is for smelling. And her mouth or tongue is for tasting. Okay, so first we'll talk about sight. Look around, there is so much to see. We use our eyes to see everything around us. Our eyes take pictures. They send the information to our brain. Our brain tells us what we see. What are you seeing now? So probably now what you're seeing is the screen. So you're seeing a girl here take pictures of fish. Next is sound. Sound is all around us. We use our ears to hear all the sounds and noises. Like right now, you are using your ears to listen to my voice read the story. Sound can be quiet or loud. Our ears send sounds up to our brain. Our brain tells us what we hear. What are you hearing now? If you see this picture here, the little boy and the little girl, they have earbuds in, so he is listening to guitar and drums, and she is listening to a singer. They are using their ears to hear. Smell. The air is full of smells. We use our nose to smell them. Air carries smell inside our nose. Our nose sends the smells up to our brain. Our brain tells us what we smell. What are you smelling now? So this little boy, it looks like he's outside. So he smells the fresh air, he smells the sweet flower, and he smells the grass. Taste. Foods we eat can be sweet, salty, sour, or bitter. We use our tongue to taste our food. Our tongue has tiny bumps called taste buds. They send information about food to our brain. Our brain tells us what the taste is. What have you tasted today? So this little girl, she is tasting ice cream. So she tastes vanilla and she tastes sweetness because ice cream is sweet. Our next sense is touch. So how do you know if something feels hot, cold, soft, hard, or scratchy? We use parts of our skin to touch. Our skin needs our brain information about things we touch. <laughs> Sorry, our skin sends our brain information about things we touch. Our brain tells us how we feel things. What does this paper feel like? Well, you don't have a paper in front of you, but you can feel something else. Anything that's in front of you, if it's a blanket, if it's a table, touch it and see how it feels. If it feels um, hard or soft or smooth, Conclusion, so that means that this is the end. Our brain takes in information about the world we live in. Then our brain tells us what we are seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and feeling. Okay, so this little girl is eating popcorn. And the cool thing about popcorn is we can use all five senses to talk about popcorn. 
So this little girl is using her sense of touch to feel the bag of popcorn and feel that the popcorn is warm because it just came out of the microwave. She can look at the popcorn with her eyes and see that the popcorn is white and fluffy. And when the popcorn was in the microwave, she used her ears to listen to the sounds of the popcorn. It makes a pop, pop, pop sound in the microwave. She uses her nose to smell the popcorn. It smells like corn and probably buttery too. And then she uses her taste buds on her tongue to taste the popcorn. So the popcorn tastes salty. So we use our five senses all day, every day. And we probably don't even realize sometimes that we're using it. Okay, so that's the end. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and we're going to do our review. So let me pull that one up. Okay, so I'll share the screen again since I pulled it up. Here we go. So we only have five questions. Okay, so as always, if you need more time to answer in between, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video and answer that way. Okay, so you can touch the screen for your answers. You can say the answers out loud or you can print it and you can circle the answers, whatever you wanna do. But try your best and I'll give the answer at the end, okay? So number one, what sense do you use to feel a dog's soft fur? So if you're feeling a dog's soft fur, would you use your sense of touch? Your sense of sight? Or your sense of taste? Okay, number two. What sense do you use to smell the flowers? Do you use your sense of hearing, your sense of sight, or your sense of smell? Okay, number three. What sense do you use to listen to the birds? So that's our key word there is listen. Do we use our sense of smell to listen? Our sense of touch to listen? Or our sense of hearing to listen? Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Number four. What sense do you use to look outside? So that's our key word is look. So do we use our sense of smell to look? Our sense of taste to look? Or our sense of sight to look? Okay, and the last one. What sense do you use to taste ice cream? So, do you use your sense of taste, your sense of touch, or your sense of hearing? Okay. So if you need more time, like I said, you can pause it because now I'm going to go over the answers. Yay, let's see if you guys are right. Okay, so number one, what sense do you use to feel a dog's soft fur? If you're going to feel something, you're going to use your hands, right? So if you're going to pet a dog or feel the soft fur, you're going to use your sense of touch. This one. Okie doke, number two. What sense do you use to smell the flowers? So if I'm gonna smell something, I'm going to use my nose. So if I use my nose, that's my sense of smell. So we would use our sense of smell to smell the flowers. Number three, when you're outside, you probably hear the birds chirping. I know I do. So what sense do you use to listen to the birds? So that's our keyword, listen. What do we use to listen? We use our ears. So we use our sense of hearing. Our sense of hearing to listen to the birds. Okay, number four, what sense do you use to look outside? So that's our key word is look. So when we're looking, we use our eyes. 
So our eyes are sight. So we use our sense of sight to look. Okay, last one, woohoo. What sense do you use to taste ice cream? So just think about it, when you're tasting something, it means you're gonna eat something and you eat with your mouth, right? So that's going to be your sense of taste. Okay. We are done with our review. All right, I hope you had fun everybody and I hope you all learned something. All right, I will talk to you all soon. Bye friends, have a great day.